This video is closed captioned. From the beautiful cities of Lisbon and Porto, exclaiming with colorful architecture and intoxicating activities, to the inland plains and rugged mountains of scenic appeal, to ancient towns dotted with world-renowned historical sites, through to the living southern world-class beaches, Portugal, one of Europe's most attractive countries, is packed with attractions so abundant that you might not get to tick half of the destination sites off your heavy bucket list. But don't worry. We've got you covered as we've compiled the list of the top 10 best places in Portugal where you can enjoy the ultimate Portuguese experience. Before we get down to it, ensure that you like this video and click the subscribe button. And oh, feel free to mark your presence with a hi in the comments section below. Okay, let's go. In number 10, the Fortress of Alvis. Recognized by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site, this star-shaped fortress located in Elvis promises a fascinating walk within its thick walls. The fortress was built in the 17th century as a military defense and now serves as one of the best preserved military architecture in Europe. It has such a beautiful scenery from an aerial view and is even more beautiful when you wander its cobbled streets and make worthy stops at different attraction spots. Number 9. Coimbra Coimbra Portugal's historic former capital is a city fixed in the country center. Its primary attraction is the University of Coimbra, where the famed Baroque library, Biblioteca Joana, is located. The 18th century clock tower of the university is imprinted with countless feet of visitors seeking a great view of the city from its top. In the town of Coimbra, you will find other historical sites, including the Igreja de Santa Cruz, which contains the tomb of Portugal's first king, Alfonso Henriques. You can round off your trip with a long, lazy walk along the bank of Coimbra's river. Number 8. Cascais Cascais, a former small fishing area 22 miles away from Lisbon, is a municipality stitched together by pretty towns, some of which are mainly resorts and marinas thanks to its coastline and the crowd pulling beaches dotted around. You wouldn't want to miss an escape in the lovely sunshine of these beaches, trust me. For a start, visit the Praia do Guinchu Beach five kilometers away from Cascais town. Cascais is also home to some notable museums, including the once royal resort of Citadel Palace. Each historical museum has its distinct architectural style and impressive interior. Number 7. Braga Located in the north of Portugal, this city keeps some of the country's respectable religious heritage and famous historical buildings. The biggest draw to Braga is the Catholic shrine of Bom Jesus de Monte, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, with a monumental Baroque stairway of 381 feet. The Seja Braga, considered the country's oldest cathedral, is an exquisite blend of architectural styles dating from the 15th to 17th centuries. A trip to the cathedral and its clustered chapels will leave you mesmerized. Other attractions in Braga include the Hayo Palace, a historical state home with a blue-tiled interior and fascinating transition style of Baroque. Take a step back to mix with locals in Praca J e Publica, which is lined with restaurants and cafes and offers a scenic spectacle. Number 6. Madeira Island The island of Madeira is the most pristine destination on the list and it's a shame that it doesn't pull a massive number of tourists despite its diverse range of attractions, from lush green territories and forests to idyllic beaches meeting the Atlantic Ocean, to cute clusters of town harboring some of the most welcoming locals. Start your immersive trip in Funchal, the capital of Madeira, which is a hilly town packed with fine small restaurants, bars, and churches. If you drive further up the hill of Funchal, Montepalas Tropical Gardens welcomes you into a natural blend of sweet-smelling plants and a host of wildlife. Also, do not fail to appreciate the finely placed sculptures pronouncing the garden's beauty. Your trip shouldn't end without you touching the waters of the lava pools of Porto Moniz or basking in the sun of the immaculate sandy beaches of Porto Santo Island. Before we get to the second half of the countdown, kindly like this video and click the subscribe button. Which are your favorite places in Portugal so far? Let me know in the comments. Number 5. Tavira Tavira, located in the district of Algarve, is considered the most charming city in the region. Algarve is popular for its proximity to the Atlantic Ocean, which is responsible for the scenic waterfront of Tavira, connected to two sides by a footbridge. 
the footbridge welcomes you to a historical and cultural treasure chest. You can begin your tour by visiting the ruins of the city's old castle, which you can climb atop and take in a pretty view of the ocean. Close to the castle is the Ingresio de Santo do Castello, a church where Tavira's legendary knight, Paro Perez Cajira, is entombed. The Tavira Islamic Museum, inspired by the old Moorish influence on the town, houses some antique items reminiscent of the Moors. The most outstanding artifact is the La Vira vase, dating from the 11th century. Number 4. Evora Another of Portugal's UNESCO-inscribed heritage sites is Evora, which is settled deep in the Alentejo region. Evora is a captivating collection of centuries-old monuments, which are some of the best-preserved structures in the region and the country. The imposing Roman temple, Templo Romano, sits in the city center, and just like the granite-built Se Cathedral, the country's most significant medieval cathedral, it is also a center of attraction. So, you get why it's a World Heritage Site now, yeah? The locals of Evora are just as intriguing as the architectural sites, known to be congenial, whether they are located in the market town, museums, or squares. Number 3. Sintra Sintra is a town surrounded by the hills of the Sintra Mountains, which looks over the Atlantic Ocean offering a spectacular view of the coastline. A bewildering historic town, Sintra is dominated by the impressive National Palace, a Moorish and Minoilin-styled architecture marked by twin chimneys. Another attractive Moorish heritage is the Castellos dos Moros, sitting on top of the Sintra Mountains. A hike to this site is recommended as it gives you a natural feel of the wooden hills. Overlooking Sintra is the Pina National Palace, atop the highest hill on the mountain. It used to be a resort of the Portuguese royal family in the 19th century. It is unique for its Romanesque architecture and offers a panoramic view of Sintra town. It also has a natural park suitable for sightseeing. Portugal's second largest city, Porto, takes spot number two. Porto brims with scenic brilliance, a wealth of history, and a bustling metropolitan feel. Sighting from across the river, you will see the hilly buildings of the waterfront district of Riva Ida, cut through by cobbled streets. Go deeper into Porto, and you will be enthralled by classical buildings like the Porto Cathedral, the city's largest monument, and the Baroque Clarigio Clarigus Church. Porto is known for its authoritative bridges, one of which is the double-deck Ponche de Dom Luis I, connecting Porto and the city of Villanova de Gaia on both sides over River Douro. In the Douro River region, you can end a lazy walk along the river banks with a sip of the best port wine produced there. Now, what's your guess of the number one spot? Pause and quickly tell us in the comments. Let us know how much interested you are in Portugal. Lisbon The number one destination is Lisbon. An ensemble of culture, history, and urban sophistication, Lisbon is the capital of Portugal and is also the busiest metropolitan district in the country. You won't find more magnificent restaurants, luxurious hotels, and top-rated bars anywhere else in Portugal. Lisbon's history is fascinating, and the historic castle of Sol Georgi, dating from the 11th century, is a bold exclamation of this. Winding down from So Georgi is the streets of Alfama, one of Lisbon's oldest areas, packed with cafes and shops exhibiting traditional crafts. Lisbon also has a share of Portugal's numerous UNESCO World Heritage Sites, the stunning Geronimo's Monastery, deep in the heart of Santa Maria Jebelim, and the 16th century Belim Tower. Lisbon is also home to the largest indoor aquarium in Europe, the magnificent Lisbon Oceanarium. The scenario offers you a close-up experience with fascinating aquatic creatures, and what's even more exciting, you can snorkel in the water. All these and so many more attractions and vibrant activities make Lisbon the least dull place in Portugal. And that's a wrap on the 10 best places to visit in Portugal. We believe you enjoyed the journey and now have a better list of destination sites to visit in Portugal. Let us know your favorite places from this list in the comment section. Also, like this video. And if you are not a subscriber yet, click the subscribe button to be updated with other countdowns like this. Thanks for watching.